What is up guys, in today's video we're going to be going over what I think is the best shotgun in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3. As always, if you guys do enjoy this video, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and comment down below which shotgun is your favorite so far this season. So this season we have the Drum Shotgun, the Havoc Pump, and the Maven Shotgun. And for the purpose of this video, we're just going to start with the Maven because I feel like it's just the worst choice. For all of Chapter 4, I feel like it's just kind of always been okay. I don't think it's ever really been the best weapon. Probably not the worst either. It was just kind of there, and it was like a solid weapon. The exotic version is quite good, and it still is very good. But for the purpose of this, I'm just kind of talking about the base version of these weapons. So as far as the base Maven goes... I feel like you mostly want to just not use this weapon unless you have to. Like, obviously, off spawn, you got to use what you got to use. But I would never really want to opt into using the base Maven because I don't really think there's much of a purpose behind it anymore. Like, in the past, it was like a high fire rate shotgun that was good if you kind of got in your opponent's face. It had really low range, but a solid fire rate and kind of not the best damage, but an okay damage. Whereas now with the drum shotgun being in the game, I, I feel like the drum just hard counters it because if you're within Maven shotgun range, you're also within drum shotgun range and they have a somewhat similar playstyle, but I feel like the drum is just much better at that playstyle. The Maven does have a little bit better damage, a little bit more consistent damage, but if you guys have used this weapon a decent amount, you probably know it's, it's not the most consistent thing either. Both the drum and the Maven have weird damage where like you'll hit very low damage sometimes it's just kind of the nature of shotguns in fortnite but the drum is more forgiving because of its higher fire rate and i feel like it's just more easy to use and more reliable for that reason so to use the maven you're gonna have to opt into the drum shotguns playstyle, and i just feel like that's not ideal like I already said, the exotic one is quite good. I, I think it's still very solid, but I think it would have made more sense to keep the combat shotgun and then just vault the Maven this season because I feel like the combat would kind of exist on its own. You know, it's a spammy shotgun, but it, but it has a lot of range, so you could play outside of the drum shotty's range. But with the Maven, you have to play into the drum shotty's range and the drum shotty's playstyle, so I feel like it's just not ideal. When it comes to the drum shotty or the Havoc pump, I think are both are like pretty effective, and it will depend on like the player using it, your playstyle, and just like your preferences. I said in my loadout video that I think the drum shotgun is going to be the best choice for most players, and I still agree with that. And that doesn't mean it's just flat out the best choice all the time, but for a lot of players, that ease of use is going to make it the best option. Like, it's not a very consistent weapon as far as damage goes, but the play style of it is very consistent, you know? For the range of it, you have to be really close to the person, so it's probably going to be easy shots for you to hit. And then you just hold the fire button and kind of walk forward or move your character around. But, like, using this weapon is super easy, and I feel like that makes it kind of consistent in a way despite it being inconsistent whereas with the pump shotgun missing one shot or messing up your timing when swapping weapons can just be like the make or break in a fight you know uh it, it could just single-handedly cost you whereas with when you miss with the pump but with the drum shot if you miss a shot or two who cares you're shooting out 10 more and eventually you'll hit some of them and you'll deal damage to the opponent especially if you're using it in its effective range it's really easy to hit those shots so if you're not the most confident fighter, odds are the drum shoddy is probably going to be the better choice. Especially if you're using the pump and playing against the drum shoddy. The drum shoddy users put out so much pressure in the fight because they're just constantly spamming out shots. And if you're someone who gets nervous fighting or you're just not really that confident in fights, I think the chaotic nature of fighting someone who's just spamming shot after shot after shot after shot with the drum shoddy can definitely throw you off and make it more likely that you miss a shot or you mess up your weapon swap timing. And I think that that makes it harder to use the pump and that's another reason why most people are probably going to be better off with the drum shoddy i personally prefer the pump and i think if you're a good fighter it is the better choice the ceiling is higher but you have to be really consistent in this meta with it so i completely understand the players that just want to use the drum shoddy because it really sucks to like feel like you're using the harder weapon choice and then you just lose to someone that just held the fire button and walked forward you know what i mean uh, as far as like some tips for playing against the drum shoddy as a pump player, I think the biggest thing you want to avoid is 50-50 fights. And this is always the case, but it's just more punishing with the drum shoddy in the game. Because like last season, 
if you were the better player and you took an unfavorable fight versus another player using the pump, you could still win the fight. But like with the drum shotty, it's just very easy for a player that's not that great to be very lethal in the fight. So with shockwaves coming back in the next update, I think getting opening AR tags and then like translating that into a kill while the person is weak will be much more like viable and like consistent. Whereas like now, if you get opening tags on somebody with the MK, let's just say you tag them 100 damage, and then you shockwave onto them, or you can't shockwave onto them, sorry, there's no mobility, you gotta either like walk there, take a car, take a boar, either way, it's not as fast as any of the mobility items we've had, so you give the opponent more time to heal, so by the time you get there, they're healed, and then you're in a fight that just kind of favors the drum shotty, so like, when we're able to like, translate our opening AR tags into, you know, actual pressure in the fight i feel like that's going to make the the pump user come out on top more times than now because that added damage will be like less time that you actually have to fight the person you know the biggest thing in when it comes to playing against a drum shotty is just playing cover and playing right shoulder peaks as much as possible the main advantage the drum shotty and the only advantage the drum shotty has over the pump is just a sustained fire rate so if you're only exposed to the person while you're pumping them you know if you're playing a cover and you just kind of peek right pump them go back into cover they don't have very much time to shoot at you and the more you do that over the fight and the more you kind of play off your cover well, the pump will easily be able to chip the, other, the, the drum shotty user down. And that's why in build mode, while the drum shotty is good, it's not nearly as problematic as it is in zero build because it just the way fights play out in build mode, you pretty much always have cover and you, you can play right shoulder peaks as much as possible. So you can really kind of take away the advantage the drum shotty has. And you can do that in zero build as well if you play cover uh, effectively. And this is one of the reasons why bunkers are also very good because if you're able to throw a bunker down and then play off that bunker it's much easier for you to play the fight as a pump player i think obviously there's going to be some times where you have to fight under like non-ideal circumstances it just happens that's kind of the nature of multiplayer games but the more you're able to play off cover and the more you're able to play off right shoulder peak i feel like the better chance you have uh, to win the fight if you're a pump player like if if you're using the pump why would you give them a fight where y'all are just kind of standing out in the open and trading shots. That, that's a fight that favors the drum, right? Or at least the drum has more of a chance in that than if you're playing cover effectively. If you do have to have one of those open fights for some reason, just the situation calls for it, you need to weapon swap like pretty much perfectly. So like when you pump somebody, you want to swap to your spray weapon if you hit them like really hard, like let's say you open with like 180 damage out of your pump, then you might just be able to swap to whatever your spray weapon is and finish them. But if you hit like a not okay pump shot or not like really good, like let's just say you hit them for 90 and then you swap to your flapjack rifle, you're going to want to like spray them a little bit with your, your flapjack rifle and then swap back to the pump for a finishing blow the moment your pump is able to shoot again. And just getting this timing down just comes from like trial and error and like experience playing the game. There's nothing I can really tell you that's going to make you perfect at getting this. It's just one of those things that you kind of get better at over time. But getting that timing is perfect is like very essential if you're fighting the drum shot user in an open fight because this is how you kind of maximize your damage output with the pump you just use your spray weapon to fill the void between pump shots another thing that i think could help bridge the gap or make like the pump better is going to be the combat smg so if you're a controller player right now the combat smg has a very little to like no aim assist for whatever reason when you hip fire it and if they fix that, if it's a bug, I'm not really sure if it's a bug or intentional, but if that ends up getting fixed and the combat SMG feels like how it felt in chapter three, I think pump combat SMG will definitely be better than the drum shotgun. But as it is now, I've just been using the flapjack rifle because the aim assist on the combat SMG is bugged or just non-existent. Don't really know what's going on there. And the final thing I want to talk about is just avoiding rats. If you know someone's camping a building or a bush, just leave them be unless you absolutely have to go there for whatever reason, like zone just ended there. But like if you know someone's camping a house, going in there and fighting them is a fight that favors the drum shotgun or you know someone's camping a bush, that kind of just random fight favors the drum shotty. It kind of thrives in those just like, you know, barrel stuff up close situations. And so if you just don't give the player that you aren't going to lose to them most of the time. I feel like a lot of the players playing like that and playing off the drum shotty really hard, they're using it as a crutch. And I think that's one of the reasons why when shockwaves come into the game, we'll be able to play against it better. Uh, you could argue that the drum shotty user can just shockwave onto you, but 
I feel like a lot of players, not all, but a lot of players using the drum shotty are kind of using it because they're not the most confident fighters. And so when we have that mobility option, if you play the opening to fights better and you get those opening tags, you're going to be able to translate that into a kill. And fights are just going to be much cleaner, I think. But when you can play cover as much as possible to pump and try to limit those just situations where you're out in the open, just straight trading damage, because that's like the one situation where the drum drum thought drum shoddy thrives it's a very one-dimensional weapon but it does that one thing very well and it's very easy to make it do that one thing but that is going to be it for this video uh, let me know down in the comments below which shotgun you prefer i'll see you guys in the next one give it a like if you enjoyed it subscribe if you want to see more thanks for watching